Hey guys, it's Silver Lane 16 more to me, Fraser. Welcome back um, to Amori. Uh, it's been a feels like forever, but it's only been a couple of days. Maybe it's because uh, my, like I said before, my on the uh, post, my Steam account got hacked. So um, I never really had a um, you know job to do. Um, I never really had anything to do anyway. I was meant to go around here, wasn't I? Apparently, um, Mikhail will be here somewhere. I think that was his name, right? Mikhail or Michael? Uh, but first I want to heal us up, because as you can see, Kel's a bit low on elf. Um... You guys need anything for Kel's scratches? Yes, please. Okay, bandages. I'll buy... Oh, I, can't, I can buy 11 if I want, but I don't need 11. Um... First I can cost 5. I only have 12 bucks. That could be a problem. Um, I'll buy 3. You go, son, take care. And I'll also buy a first aid kit, because I need one. Now, I don't know if I'm going to spend my money on anything else, but currently right now... Seriously, bro, you need to get your knife. There we go. If I ever need anything, I can always buy some more. These look like Coke bottles. I love Coke. I could prob I'd, I'd probably drink that stuff all day if I, well, A, wanted to, or B, was stupid enough. Is that him? And then I told him it's not Maverick, it's the Maverick. Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. Are you paying those girls? Oh, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please, there's nothing for me to go around. Yeah, you're paying them, aren't you? That's all the macho kids do, they pay girls to hang around them. Well, at least the kids who act macho, that was my life anyway. Mikhail, what are you doing? Ah! If it doesn't count my arch nemesis. You have hair like me, but I don't act like you. My hair's like blondish. Fighting here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikhail. I'm looking for Aubrey, have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I can't by that name a long time ago. Calm down, KK. There's like Ghostwire Tokyo. Mikhail, do you know where she is or not? They give her that god forsaken name. How do you make a fool out of me? I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Says the person paying girls hang around him. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I want the fool of this loser. Please, Mikhail, don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Fight me, you one. Don't be a chicken. It is not gonna be good for your uh, self esteem when I um, straight up embarrass you in front of these girls you're paying to hang around. Uh, really gonna do this? Okay, then. Come on, Fraser, let's take him down. Crack your knuckles, Cal. Let's knock this guy out. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. You have a name, bloody use it. Yeah, no. I won't let it end like this. Too late, it's already ended. It's over. No. It can't be over for me. People of Earth. Limit your strength. Yeah! Ian, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth ten dollars. <laughs> he actually was paying them. Let's get out of here. I was just joking, but still. But ladies, please come back. I have more money. How about you just respect girls and don't pay them? <sighs> oh, he has a wig. Okay, you don't have hair like mine. <clears throat> Mikhail. There is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do you happen to know where she is? And I'll tell you on one condition. You must call by my true name, the Mever- Bro, I will, okay? Just shut up and tell me where Aubrey is. I'll forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are murder sugarheads, so... Wasn't Vance the name of one of the people at the um, playground? When I was black and white? So, I have a hunch they'll probably be somewhere near Candy. Helpful. So, um, also... I'm assuming these two are Vance and Cal. Hmm. I'm guessing that's the owner, because she's also there. I assume that's the statue, I assume that's her. No income in Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. Yep, yeah, yeah, they're right here, I've got a bird's eye view. <laughs> There they are. 
Oh, hey, there she is. All right, boss, let's have a lot of pockets before someone sees us. Look to the left. Your left, not our left. Hey, can we see an Aubrey anywhere? Shoot! It's that nerd cow. Come on, Mars, we gotta go. Well, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of my way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, hold on. I'm not, yeah, I'm not here to snitch. I just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. Who do you think you're fooling? I don't even know I did. I wouldn't tell you. <sighs> I've had enough of this for today. Can't let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I'll let you see you want a snitch. Uh, I don't need to be if you tell me where Aubrey is. I think the I think the owner heard you. You two again? I thought I told you to never come back here. Smiley, smiley. That's an interesting name, Miss Candace. Sa similar to Candy, so fitting name. Uh oh. I don't have the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you, kids. Why do you keep on saying that? We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance, let's get out of this dump. Ah, so you're right. Uh, where do we, we're not gonna... We, there are only chance to find Aubrey Cal. We, we, we sort of need to find her. How do we find out where Aubrey is now? <sighs> Come on, Fraz, let's follow them. I need a weapon, you know. Give me a weapon. Cal, seriously, just grab me a weapon, please. Anything. You have a basketball. You stole my knife. Why don't we just bribe them with candy? Hold on one sec, Fraser. I think I have an idea. Ow. Took the words right out of my mouth. So for the hold up. Let's go catch Kim and Vance. I assume we're going to lose to them because there's... I mean... Road full HP and I don't have a weapon. And there's two of them. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. You don't need to survive off candy, you know. No, not again. And how much longer I can last? We're going to die. No, you're not. You can't. It's not a necessity to live off sugar. Ironic, because I drink fizzy drink all the time, but still. Uh, let's just go home. I'm going to be late for dinner. You again, Cal? What the heck do you want, you bully? That's where Aubrey is, and I'll give you this whole big bag of candy. But really, the whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't buy us off with candy. Well, no, I meant you were going to steal stuff, so... Who you take us for? Thieves? Cowards? Sugar addicts? <coughs> I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. I guess I understand that, but still. I haven't had sugar for, like, over four years. Nah, eh, it doesn't matter, though. There's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Yeah, look, just tell us where... Just tell us where Aubrey is, and you can have it. He always asks if there's any taffy in there. Stop, Vaz, we have to stay strong. When you get to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. If your dad will give you candy. If you even have a dad. Okay. I'll do it for you, sis. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. Heh. <laughs> like when I sip candy from a bunch of nerds. Aw, oh, man, really? I'm sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait. Please, Kim, you're the only lead we've got. Please take this big bag of candy. We we even have Taffy in here. Does that change everything? Did someone say Taffy? I see. That changes everything. You know, we could just be lying. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that bag of Taffy and never talk to us ever again. It's not just Taffy. But okay. Wait a second, there's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you the whole bag. But, I want to fight. Come on, put him up, you two. Time to duke it out. We did. What happens if you guys are fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Come on, Fraser. You know the drill. I'll show you that slices and everything. I'm not about to lose the nerds like you. Can already, uh, already felt so, so. You're still nerds. We won. Chew on that, blockheads. Mm. I can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. Come on, Kim. We gotta get home. 
So it's time for dinner. My mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot, let's get out of here. Hey, where do you think you're going? We won. So you didn't tell us where Aubrey is. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Aubrey's at the church. I heard 11 chimes. It's 11 p.m. or 11 a.m. and you need lunch? And you need dinner? God, your, your family is very either very confused, very neglectful, or just both. Huh? Or was it church? I'm amazed too. Hey, don't look at me. The only one who wanted to know. Also, she asked you, told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was Mikel or something. Come on, Kim, we've got a scoot. Now mum gets when we're late. Yeah, go home and lick your wounds. Let's go. Smell you later, nerds. Says the losers. Trying to save face, are you? Ah, nuts. Let's the What? Let's do have some sticky fingers. Ah, well. At least we know what Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. Can't really imagine Aubrey at church. But I'll believe it when I see it. Welcome to church. Oh. The statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it's judging you. That's what churches do. They hand out judgment. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door a little, let's take a peek. Hmm, looks to one of me. I think we're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm, she's just sitting there, all normal. So weird. Yeah, I feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. Well, let's get comfortable. Might take a while. Yeah, I think it's the only thing we can do at this rate. If I get ticked off, I don't really care. Move slowly. You're in a church, Cal. Oh, I didn't expect you to walk in like that, Fraser. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. I know. Aubrey's the one with pink hair, right? There she is on the right. Let's walk in that pew behind her. doing here? Why don't you give back Basil's photo of him? You still on about that? It's none of your business. Really? None of my business. We used to be the best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, Cal. Exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Mario would be really sad to hear that. <laughs> really? You want to bring Mario into this? Who cares what Mario thinks? Mario's dead. What? Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends. My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about. When Maori passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Cal. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. I think you do that to Basil. You know how important this photo album is to us. It's important to all of us. Doesn't mean you can't. Doesn't mean you can steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ah, so persistent. When Murray died. You moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week. Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. It doesn't look like it's happening today. You haven't talked in four years, Cal. A lot changes in four years. You and Fraser think you can barge into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. I might look different and act different, Aubrey. You're still the same person. <laughs> the Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend? She's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if there's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when you lost Mari. Nah, I won't accept this. Wait, where are you going? 
Can't you go until you promise to get that bezel is full of my thief? What's happening? Bezel? Isn't the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friend's bully. Is she stealing as well? Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Cal? And I'm the big bad boy. You know, terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging around with a psychopath who carries around a knife. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that! You're only barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me if you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You should better come at me quick. We'll come at you first. <laughs> Forget it. You can't worth my time. Just get back the photo album. Uh, ever since her father left. She's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Where's the Did we get the photo album? Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately. But I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this is a bad idea. I just want the album back. Oh, she took a bike. Has it become dusk? Is that her house? Yeah. Throw away Bethel's album. You see that? We'll just dump something in a trash can. Let's go check it out. I assume it was the photo album. Wow, I don't believe it. It's Bethel's photo album. Lucky. Can't believe she just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. Better than price, at least we have Bethel's photo album now. And it took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Fraser? Yeah, why not? Team unlocked up high. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy to see us. I sort of want to get back to the black and white as well. Knock knock, Basil. It's your friend's Callan Fraser. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait. Not Basil. I'm sorry, my name's Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Cal. What is it? Hi, Basil. You got your photo album back. Ah, uh, you did? Wow, thank you. Get Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Fraser, free dinner. I never want to turn down food. Let's make yourself at home. Go ahead and... I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in here. Definitely a lot more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there were some that were still alive when you guys came here for more often. Oh, you sure are dedicated. Yeah, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that you've got some photo of them back, we can all go through the photos together. Oh, that's, uh... I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through the mouse, isn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um, sure, okay. Here it is. Okay, apparently I can play violin. That's Hero and Cal and... Yeah, all these are uh, images, like, in more colour. And that one looks familiar. As do a lot of others, I'm sure. I just can't remember them too clearly. That one's similar. <laughs> Guess they used to be playful. That one's also, uh, similar. 
Oh, Walbury used to be nice. Sorry, because that's what we were really looking at. Oh man, looks like the photos of us are still missing. Maybe you'll be keeping them for yourself. I'll take those back later. On the bright side, look how short it was. <laughs> Never going to lose a foot since I left for college. Can't wait until he comes back. This year I'll finally be told them. I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> you know, no one stops growing, Cal. Anyway, don't speak about missing about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Fraser will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. Sorry, by the way, don't talk about the second one than I thought. Maybe you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Yeah, because... Ah, uh, Hero was a chef, wasn't he? Oh, that would be lovely. Or he was. Please follow me in the kitchen. Is this my... In college, is he studying food? White Egret Orchard. Orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you in your dreams. Ah, oh, Fraser. I didn't expect to see you in here. <laughs> How are you doing, Fraser? Is everything okay with you? Okay. Never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. That's your grandmother. Looks like she's in a wheelchair on an IV drip. So it's been four years, hasn't it? <sighs> it's nice to see that you're still around. Even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm just in with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. As we go through his photo album. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes I feel like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think all of, at the time I took photos of what was most afraid what I was most afraid to lose. But maybe this album can you can still see the good times. Maybe one day this is going back to the way they were before. Fraser, Basil, dinner's ready. Okay, coming. This is uh, getting emotional, I'll admit. I mean, I'm usually not, but it, it can get emotional. I don't know. Like, yeah, why not? I think they're so good. You're the best boy. I was nothing. I'm just following Grandma's whispers. Thanks for your help, Kel. God, you are stuff on your face. <laughs> you got nothing there? So the same before, probably. Tomorrow. I wonder about the hero finally comes back from college. Mum's all crazy right now, preparing the house and everything. I don't want to be anywhere near that mess. But I'm pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. This year is the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can... Feel it on my bones. You know, Cal, um, I sort of know how you feel. I never had a brother, but, um, I know how, um, like, growing taller feels. Uh, to me, it was a weird thing to be looking down on my grandparents. <laughs> you and your other seem close. That's good. Family's important. Oh, hey. What's you doing about this photo album there, Fraser? Uh, he let me have it. Oh, I, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. <coughs> oh, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Fraser's moving away and all. <laughs> what? Fraser's moving? Ah, oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. <coughs> Sorry, guys. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh. Uh, no, I guess I must have missed it. Sorry, um... May I be excused? I have to go to the bathroom. What's up with them? Well, that's just how it is. You gotta go, you gotta go. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Turn on the lights. Oh, it's you, Fraser. You're here. I'm so glad. You... 
You can see it too, can't you? Something behind you. Uh. Kaiser? What? Why are you looking so scared? What is that thing? Wait, please, Rosa. Don't leave me. Not again. <laughs> that thing. I've seen it multiple times. Does it? Guys, uh, Basil's been corrupted. Oh, hey, Fraser. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So, yeah, anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Kyle, you're sweet. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Think about a basil for me. Oh. <laughs> I gotta head home, so hey, Fraser. Thanks for hanging out with me today. So full of trouble. That's pretty crazy adventures, huh? You can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while. That's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, here I was coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure I want to see you before you leave. So if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Fraser. Sweet dreams. When I moved, I lost all my friends, too. The entire place I knew just vanished in a puff of smoke. I saw that entity. Spiders. This is another way I hate spiders. Cut on the cobwebs. Whispers emanate from the box. It's like I'm being controlled by mental darkness. I don't know how I'd feel if my sister died, but probably pretty bad. Because I don't. What do you want from me? Or of me? Is that Maori or. Most likely. Yeah, it's Maori. Is that thing? It's like my mental darkness is controlling my mind. I'm gonna keep on missing until I lose. Yeah, my attacks do nothing. This happened before. This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Fraser? I still can't run. I just need to... Calm down, maybe? This just covers 40 heart. Something bites Fraser. Okay, can I attack it now, or is it just... Seems there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and remember how to focus. Resonance attack deals more damage. Focus, I guess? Razor focuses. A very comfortable beard. Which I do to sleep. Yeah. 
guess I don't have a choice. Mum's not gonna be happy though, I didn't finish my chores. What's you unlocked? Oh, yeah, Sumi? Is that Japanese or something? I'm sorry if I'm offending somebody watching this. Is this a story of how we happen in white space? It's like this game is reminding me that I had a persistent nightmare at some point. Welcome to White Space. We have been living here for. This was the start, the introduction. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to restart all over again. Front door, Castle Venture. Is this day two on our hunt for Basil? I really didn't like the other Aubrey. I really prefer this Aubrey. Oh, Mori, welcome back. See here, I told you not to worry. Mori always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay, Mori? We we're worried about you. Now you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Cal. You can make sure Mori is okay first. Or well, maybe you and Hero can go by yourselves. Come on, Mori, let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave us out of this. Actually, I think we can. <laughs> I just don't want to. He's right, Mori. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you need someone's help. He's our healer, Kel's our... I really don't know what he is. He's good at hitting targets, though, and... Well... Amori's like our, um... Amori's the leader, and... Aubrey's like the... The heavy hitter. Makes sense, because, well... You know, she uses a spiked baseball bat in the other reality. We're strong when we work together. Like penguins. Hm, Amori and I will be fun on our own. You protect me, won't you, Amori? With what? You gross, get a room. Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Mari that Amori is okay. Mari's dead. And now, she's always worrying about him. I think I might be concerned about how she died, though. Initially, I thought Basil might have taken his life, but maybe it was Mari? Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. Can I have my clam snake? Can we add Amori? He's your allowance for today. $750. Holy cow, how rich is this family? Anyway, I'll uh, talk to Maori and uh, then we'll end the video. Hi Maori, look, Amori is here. Amori! I really hope this is the reality and back there wasn't the reality. Stop disappearing like that. I don't know how I can take it. Well, I mean, you physically hugged me, so, um,. I don't think you feel ghostly. Maybe that reality was a liar. A unrealistic Amori defacing... Amori and Maori defacing a cheat of a liar. Doesn't matter too much. Hmm. So this is my son of Basil. Who could he be? I never got to use that snow cone coupon. Not sure. I'm looking for him everywhere. Still nothing. <sighs> that Basil is okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I'm missing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff, and the photo stuff, and the art stuff, and the reading stuff. My hair is so tangly. I'm missing best use to brush my hair. Why will you brush it for me? I'm missing best use to remind me to wash my hands. They're so dirty. Yeah, cow. Yeah, you should probably wash your hands anyway. <laughs> 
Yeah, we want to know that stuff right now, but we have to stay positive. Why are you trying to be like Basil? Even when Basil is upset, he always manages to smile. Positivity. So, is there anyone you haven't checked yet? Well, there's the frost bits of the stump, but it's got some full of spiders. I hate spiders. Ah, uh, spiders. Looks like um, me and Hero are quite similar. We're both tall. We both know how to cook and don't mind cooking. Um, and uh, we both have uh, we're both good at talking. Well, you know what that means. Well, it's the end of time to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, Hero. Oh God. Come on, big bro, you can't back out now. Let's just buy some insect repellent. We have seven hundred and fifty dollars or clams, but you know what it is. Just like you just like how it is with Amori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You do have a bat, and your head is solid, so yeah. You can count on it. And don't forget about me. I'll always be there to help, too. Yeah. Yeah. We can do this together. Let's go to the forest with the stump. Lead the way, Amori. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. It's uh, been uh, a lot of fun getting back into Amori. Thank you so much, though, for uh, watching the video. Please do like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz. If you are feeling generous, why don't you just share to your family and make your friends, friends with things which of course. Consider subscribing. It's always been free. You can unsubscribe at any time, and it helps me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will, of course, be seeing you in the next one. Uh, deuces!